Hey, what's up? This is Zach here at the ETH scaling event. Super excited to be here with Adrian, who is working on Lido. Can you tell us a little bit about how what you're building and what you're working on is helping ETH scale? Certainly. So earlier, we gave a presentation about a proposal that we published to the ETH research forums. It's called Maximum Viable Security. And the idea is that we wanted to propose a framework for looking at Ethereum's monetary policy from the perspective of how much more security can we help drive to Ethereum. I agree. The reason this is relevant for Ethereum scaling is that Ethereum today is still very small, and so we're sort of still very, very early. The value of the, the market capitalization of the world capital markets is in the hundreds of trillions. You know, the, the Bank for International Settlements reported in 2022 the total value of large value payment systems, so in other words, transfers between central banks and you know, between wholesale banks and so forth, amounted to one and a half quadrillion dollars. And in comparison, the amount of stablecoin transfers on Ethereum in the last 12 months was something in the order of eight and a half trillion, which while still obviously a very large number is less than 0.5% of the BIS figures. So no, Ethereum today is very much still a rounding error in the world capital markets. And you know, this is like another way of saying that we're still very early. And so what we wanted to do was put together a framework that could help us think about the issuance curve in terms of how much new security can we help drive to the network, rather than think about it in terms of how much efficiency can we squeeze out of the existing staking ecosystem. Because our concern is that by reducing the issuance rate now, at a stage of Ethereum's development where it's still quite immature, you risk exacerbating centralizing forces that will allow centralized exchanges and very large professional node operators accumulate new stake because the fixed costs are flexible enough and a small enough proportion of their PL that could essentially allow them to stake at any rate, basically. And so what we're looking at is Ethereum security is primordial to its market value. It's the main reason why it's valuable at all, frankly. And any issuance curve adjustments or monetary policy proposals ought to take maximizing security and as a first and foremost consideration, which is really the only way that Ethereum will scale to a level where it can eventually compete or, frank, I hope, be used by the Bank for International Settlement members. Thank you, Bows. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for the great interview. If you're watching this home, make sure to stop by the future events. Absolutely epic. And follow Adrian to see more of his work. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks.